Now this is a driving range. All right guys, Bayonne Golf Club. We have the course to ourselves today. It is uber exclusive and we are gonna give you the inside access. So let's go tee off. All right, guys, we're about to take you on the first hole. And while we're out there, we're gonna tell you just exactly what is so special about this amazing place. And of course, we gotta give a huge thanks to Evan who brought us out here today. And he's an absolute legend for getting us out here. He caddies, he was at some of our, our meetups before. That's where we first met him. So like I said, Evan's a legend. But let's get off that first tee. So like I said, there's just so much to tell you about this course. So it's gonna take all 18 probably to tell the full story, but just as we learn about it, just so impressed with so many things. One thing being that you don't see often, the owner, Eric Bursaw, is also the architect. So he designed it himself with putting a ton of passion into it. And as you'll see, and we'll tell you more about this, all of the different elevation changes, all of that came from as they dredged the Hudson, they needed a place to put all of that silt as they needed to dredge the Hudson so that you can make it deeper for the, uh, for the bigger and bigger boats and accommodate the bigger and bigger boats that were coming through. So as part of developing this golf course, they ended up dumping a lot of that here, which gave uh, the architect the clay, for lack of a better word, to use to mold this place into what it is today. Taking effectively what was a, a waste or a byproduct of a major construction uh, project and using it to craft something as beautiful as what you see here, I think is, is just an amazing undertaking. So do you find you hit less than driver a lot here? Oh yeah, yeah, 100%. It's a shop maker's course more than anything else. So a lot of the bombers of the ball are gonna have a hard time here if they don't know how to place the ball right where they want to. You wanna be in that fairway for a clean shot home because otherwise this all could be a disaster. That's what I remember quickly. Oh, that's a beauty. Should be good. Put the uprights to that fairway. Yeah. Yeah, great shot. Yeah. Frank's gonna work that power draw. Started out over World Financial. Pull it back towards the Empire State Building. It's gonna be a thing of art. You watch. It's gonna be tracer art. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. That's, that's beautiful. Fun. Great shot. One thing right off the bat that I think is so interesting is the owner traveled to Scotland and to Ireland and got to play some of the most iconic Lynx courses. And he wanted to bring a little bit of that back here. And now playing it, we're really feeling it. Evan earlier was saying how it's really a shot maker's course. It's far more about keeping that ball in play and giving yourself opportunities on approach shots than it is anything else. It is tight out here. Uh, even today, on one of the hottest days of the summer where elsewhere there's almost no movement of the air, you're getting a breeze here being so close to the water. So you got wind to contend with and you have that real Lynx feel layout. So it's a challenge, but it's just stunning beauty really in every direction that you look. The flag is always gonna dictate which way the ball is gonna fly once it gets up in the air. A lot of people try to feel it down in the dunes. It's good, the wind just creates a vortex down there. It throws you for a whirl. That's why we got the second biggest flag in the US here. So uh, the wind up top of these dunes is far different than what we're experiencing down here. Yes, sir. Gotcha. We got the first biggest. The uh, biggest. West Point. West Point has the biggest flag in the United States. Okay, I thought it was the one down on Wall Street. No, nah, that's third. Good. Third? Third. <laughs> All right. What's so wild is when you're down here in these fairways, inside of these hills that line both sides, you, you almost don't know where you are. You could be anywhere. You could be, uh, you could be in Scotland. You could be in Ireland. Uh, it's not until you emerge by the green that you start to see all the urban development around you, including the Manhattan skyline. So it's an interesting way that you can almost get lost in a, in a space and not realize truly where you are.
This is my second time here at Bayonne. Uh, I came here about a month ago, played pretty well. Uh, today it's hot, it's hotter than I was here before, but some of my favorite things about this course, number one, I love the water range, really unique. You know, you hit golf balls into the water. Uh, floaters, they come and pick them up. There's a ferry and a helicopter pad on 16, which we're gonna show you, by the way, 16, 17, and 18 might be the three prettiest holes I've ever seen anywhere. So stay tuned for that. Uh, and lastly, I love the drive-in. You know, you're like, you don't know what's about to come as you're driving in. And then, you know, you're in these high mounds and this little valley with this little road, it bends around and all of a sudden, boom. Here you are, Bayonne Golf Club. You know, huge flag, second biggest flag as you heard. Just a really magical place. So Evan, if I remember from the meetup, You've come a long way with this game pretty quickly. Yes, sir. I've been playing for just around two and a half years. I started in October 2018, and I worked my way bouncing between a five and an eight handicap. Wow, and, and in a prior life, military, right? Yep, before all the golf and all that good stuff, I was in the Marine Corps as an infantryman with 2nd Battalion, 8th Marines, Echo Company. Gotcha. Pre-golf days. Yes, sir. You find any similarities between the game and your time in the military? Uh, mainly the camaraderie with other players. It's uh, nothing can compare between the two, in my opinion. And it's always good to have that kind of energy around you at all times. It's a, it's a nice feeling. All right, so this is that deep bunker that protects this green that I was so worried about. And Evans found himself in it. I think he's the man for the job. Let's see if he can get up and out from here. Oh, what a touch. Look at that thing, you got spin on it too. Thank you. How long you say you've been playing golf? Now you're just embarrassing us. Now you're just embarrassing us. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Evan was telling us they have the Met PGA coming in for a tournament in a couple of days, so they've been speeding up the green. So making a difficult golf course even more difficult today. They're fast, they're lightning fast. So 331. Looks short, but you said you have yet to see a, a hole-in-one on this hole. Yep, well, yet but it's to possible. See it. It's it is possible. There's a nice little speed slot at the end of the fairway that feeds it right into the to the green. Depending on the pin location, that could feed right into the hole. Okay, Mike, you were close in Tobacco Road. Maybe this is your chance. It's my chance. It's probably my only chance, right? Let's see if we can get one there. Hey, it's your favorite two words: speed slot. Speed slot. That's... <laughs> now we got to hit the speed slot. Yep. yep. All right, it's one thing to find your ball here. I told you, don't get too excited about finding this one. <laughs> oh, man. And you're just off the fairway. Shows you how quickly you can get in trouble here. You got a club length here at Bayonne, right? If you want to take it unplayable. <laughs> All right, here goes nothing. She's out, she's in the bunker. Yep. Up and out, and with some distance. Whew, how about that up and down Mike just had? All right, I tell you what, where's our notification squad at? Because this one's for you guys. The first 500 people to drop a comment on this video are gonna be automatically entered. We've got a pin range finder that we're gonna be giving away. We're gonna choose one of you at random. Boom, noti squad. Notification squad, but you gotta be in these to win it. So if you're not part of the notification squad, all you gotta do, hit that bell to be notified when our videos drop. Be one of the first to comment. We're gonna keep sneaking these flash giveaways in there. And this thing, this pinned unit is pretty epic. You're gonna to wanna to win this. Like I said, first, five com fi first 500 comments are eligible. Let's go. All right, birdie putt for Frank here on seven. Can't leave a birdie short. Or can you leave a birdie short? Yes, you can. Ooh. Apparently, you still can. You can. All right. Good ah. Great shot. There you go. It's a bomb. Bomb city. Yeah, man. Yep, that'll play. 
Hard hole to get home in two. But you have a chance here, my man. I got a chance. What are you looking at? How far? To the pin. 188 pin. The wind's helping a little bit, so I'm going to play it around 180. Okay, let's see, man. Good bounce. Yeah. Good bounce. We got ball. ourselves an eagle putt. Wow. Yeah. Now you can show the boys you work with this. There you go. <laughs> we got a bringer here. Now, Evan, you had said that this is a actually what's called a Daytona style green. Correct. So it's meant to receive some of these longer shots. Tell us about that. Absolutely. So if you guys can see the slope in the camera, the green is sloped from back to front. And basically the course designer designed the green that way so that if you do have a long shot and you have a club like a three wood that has more rollout, you can, can receive the rollout and just send the ball right back to the hole. It's a, it's a great, great design of a hole. One of my favorite holes here at Bayonne. Cool. It's definitely a go for it player's hole. That's for sure. All right, Evan with an eagle chance here. Oh, I thought he had it. Good try. How about this look off this tee? It's amazing how many different shots the clubhouse is out there in your field of view. It's just designed just to keep weaving its way back towards that mantelpiece that is the clubhouse. Good touch, man. Hey guys, I just wanna take a quick moment to thank this video's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. Skillshare helps you explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in your creativity. For example, in a location as beautiful as this, who wouldn't wanna take those super shareable photos? Well, the good news is Skillshare has you covered with classes like how to shoot photos like a pro with John Olson, iPhone photography essentials with Sean Dalton, and outdoor photography with Min T. And the best part is that Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes. So you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. Plus, when you join, you can try one of Skillshare's new live classes, which lets you experience real-time inspiration as you connect with popular teachers while watching and working along with other members. Oh, and get this, the first 1,000 of our subscribers who click the link in the video description will get a free trial of Skillshare's premium membership so you can explore your creativity. So get in there, Check out Skillshare so you can learn something new and have fun doing it. All right, guys, back to the course. All right, so they took Bally Bunyan and they just dropped it about three miles from New York City. Look at that. I think you're in a whole other world, don't you? Our architect is Eric Bergstahl. He took three years of his time to travel to Ireland and Scotland to create basically his dream Lynx course. And through that, Bayonne Golf Club was born. Just an incredible story, an incredible place. Yes, sir. You hit us on the ninth green at nine. Right. Wear something nice. <laughs> hey, when it's 90 degrees, you ask them to turn the sprinklers no, on. <laughs> no, no turn, nothing. All right. All right, guys, we got to the 12th hole. I love this hole because you're looking straight down the chute and you're looking into the water and you got the city on the other side, but the fairway's pretty wide open. I remember last time I played here, I had a great drive down the middle. The problem was I ended up in one of those greenside bunkers. So as you can see, this whole entire green complex is surrounded by bunkers. There's a ton of them up there. So the play here is just gonna be get a nice shot out to the fairway. And then you gotta be strategic. We have a sucker's pin location out there, but uh, the play's gonna be middle of the green. So, all right, elevated up here on top of this mountain. Let's tee it up. All right, cool little approach shot here. You can see the flag right there in between. And I had a nice drive here, stayed on the fairway. Oh, that's wet. All right, I'm up and over. Let's see if I'm on the green. Now that's a divot. That is a wet fairway divot. I better go clean that, but won't be allowed back. Eight ounce, real nice. Something you pay $45 for at a high, pr a high priced uh, steakhouse. Doesn't fill you up, go home, order pizza. It's one of those. Uh, one thing that I have to keep reminding myself is to keep looking up at the flag. And the good news is that big flag you can see from pretty much everywhere on the golf course, but when you get down on these fairways, you just don't feel the wind and you forget about it because you're so protected down there. But as soon as that ball gets up above those ridge line, 
it's just, it's at the wind's mercy. So you have to keep looking up as a reminder to see what the wind is doing up there. And, and as Evan was saying earlier, the pin flags certainly don't help because a lot of them are protected down low as well. So you can look at a pin flag, you see no wind, you feel no wind, you get the ball in the air and like, where's it going? Uh, so you have to be able to just discipline yourself and just remember to, to glance back and look at that big flag because that is going to be your, your biggest helper while you're out here. There's the Staten Island Ferry in the distance. But Evan, you were telling me that the members here actually can take their own ferry. Correct. From the, Manhattan, right? Yes, sir. So right about where Chelsea Piers is in Manhattan, they take it from there. They'll round this bend where you see this black boat over there by the water, and they'll come all the way to our dock right there. It's, the member, it's at the members' leisure. They can pretty much use it whenever, as long as we're open. And it's a great, great little party boat. I always call it the party boat when I drop them off because it's fully equipped with an entire bar and about two TVs so they can watch whatever they like. Now that's how you arrive at a golf course. Yes, sir. I've literally just been transported back to King's Barns right, right now. Wow, I feel like I'm there. Look at that, that's crazy. Incredible. All right, who can get it there? Let's try. Reached? Yeah, you do. You reached? Yeah, right side fairway. Let's go. Let's go, dude. Well, it's dry. All right, Frank. Still a beast of a drive home here. Yeah, it is. We got 212. That's safe. It's over that bunker. It's over the bunker. You should be left, left of the green. Okay. Chipping up to it. Evan's going driver up the deck here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Go. Dude, that could be really good, right? <laughs> I could have got the right skip. Yeah. <laughs> you got the right skip. He's like skipping stones out here. <laughs> so I've been talking about this whole time. Down here, look at this. Barely any wind. Look up there. You know how much wind it takes to move a flag that big? It's a lot of wind up high. There's a lot of wind up there. Oh. All right, guys, we're about to tee off on 18 with yet another beautiful closing hole heading into that epic clubhouse up on the hill there. I just have to take a moment to stop and thank Evan and the entire team here at Bayonne for having us out here. It has been an absolute privilege, a day that we will not forget. Uh, like I said, just absolutely beautiful what they've done here with this place and uh, just impressed all around. It's just one of those places you'll be thinking of for a long time after playing it. Fairway. Fairway bound. Woo! Oh, well, my tee went into the trash can. <laughs> That's a hole in one in my book. That's a hole in one. <laughs> <laughs> How's that for a closing hole? Look at that. You got the flag, you got the clubhouse. I'm just stalling time because I'm tired, I'm trying to catch my breath before this important shot. <laughs> oh, I didn't get the fade again. All right. All right, guys, it's a wrap here at Bayonne Golf Club. I told you it was beautiful. I did not lie about that. So you got to see the all access behind the scenes. Look here, the course to ourselves closed. Ah, oh, the views just don't get any better than this. Oh man. Well, guys, thanks again for tuning in and we'll see you again next time.